we know i is equal to q over t if we have a del q amount of charge passed through a cross section of uh, an element in del t time the current is del q over del t and if we write in terms of differentiation so when the del is very small when we have an expression it's dq over dt so we have a problem here it says that the charge entering the positive terminal of an element is 4 sin uh, 5 sin 4 pi t milli coulomb and the voltage uh, uh, in that uh, across that terminal from plus to minus is 3 sin uh, 3 cos 4 pi t uh, this one is in volts so the first question is uh, what is the power delivered in time 3 second point 0.3 second so we know power is vi and i can be found by dq over dt so we differentiate this one with respect to time and since the charge is milli coulomb the current will be in milli amps so this will be 5 times 4 pi cos 4 pi t milliamps so we can write uh, 20 pi and then cos 4 pi times 0.3 milliamps and that can be written 20 pi cos uh, 1.2 pi so this is in radian milliamps so once we do this we get so I get something minus uh, 50.81 milliampere approximately there might be some round of error but that's what it is so approximately and this negative means that the current is in the other direction so that's all right and then I try to find the voltage which is given 3 cos 4 pi t uh, voltage is 3 cos 4 pi t so 4 pi t is again uh, t is 0.3 so 1.2 pi and this one will result this is in volts so the value is approximately minus 2.42 or 3 something so that's there and then the power of course will be the product of vni vni so we get something like 123.6 probably i don't know and it will be in milliwatt so this is the power and the second question is what is the energy uh, delivered to the element within point uh, within 0 to point 0.6 seconds so energy delivered is uh, of course energy will be integration of power so that's 0 to point 0.6 we have to do because power is uh, dw over dt so energy is the integration of power within certain uh, time uh, interval so here we have the this integration we have to do 0 to 0.6 there and p is we have to write the expressions there so this one is 5 sine 4 pi t 5 sine 4 pi t sorry that's charge we have to do the i there so p is equal to v i v and i dt so we'll do on the next page 0 to 0.6 and v is 3 cos 4 pi t and i is 20 pi cos 4 pi t dt so we can take this one and this one outside the integration so that's 60 pi there 0 to 0.6 there and cos square 4 pi t dt now we have a cos square so if we do the uh, double angle formula of sine and of cos there so we know that cos square um, x is that's half 1 plus cos 2x so we should we have to do this substitution because otherwise we can't do this integration so let's do that 60 pi 
uh, and that one becomes so that's 2 is there 0 2.6 we can do this other unless we do this uh, sub, uh, write it in terms of the double angle then it becomes 1 plus cos 8 pi t dt so like that and this becomes 30 pi there and if I now do the integration it becomes t here plus 8 pi so plus 1 over 8 pi and this becomes sine 8 pi t and 0.6 over on top and 0 on the bottom so 30 pi there and if I now plug in the values there it is 0.6 here plus 1 over 8 pi and this one is sine 8 pi times 0.6 and the second one when I write the lower uh, one it becomes 0 here and sine 0 is also 0 so both of them are 0 so those two are gone we can ignore them so we have only this term and this term and once uh, uh, once I do it I get the energy 58.76 now the unit will be, we have to remember the current was in milliampere so the power was in milliwatt uh, po power we got was in milliwatt I don't remember if I have written that properly uh, where did I write it A milliwatt yeah so this one will be in millijoules so that will be the energy delivered within that time interval so yeah there it is